About a dozen canceled flights were at Tulsa International Airport today. 2 News Oklahoma's Jeanette Quesada shows us the troubles there. Naomi, I spent all day at Tulsa International Airport and spoke with frustrated passengers. I also spoke with a manager at Southwest who tells me the winter storms impacted their aircraft pilots and flight crews. He says they are working through this, but it will be days before their crews are able to reset. In fact, they anticipate cancellations through December 30th. Jeremy Herfield is among the thousands of travelers who had to adjust their travel plans to see family this holiday season when Southwest canceled his flight. Right now, it seems like it's just a shortage of crews. Um, they can't get the, the staff to man the planes. So obviously, if you don't have any workers, you can't have the, uh, the planes going. Um, so luckily, I got a full refund. Anna Irwin is one of the lucky ones. She finally flew into Tulsa today feeling grateful and relieved to finally be home. It's been a long journey. She was supposed to fly in from Houston on the 26th, but says Southwest canceled her flight that day. When she tried rebooking, she says she was put on a three hour hold. Once she finally got through to someone, she was told her flight had been rebooked to arrive to Tulsa today at about 6.35 p.m. But this morning when she woke up, she found her rebooked flight with Southwest had been canceled once again. To be frank, after the second cancellation from Southwest, I just didn't know how I was going to get home. I was looking at rental cars and it was just going to be so expensive. And I was just like, I just don't know when I'm going to get home, how I'm going to get home. Determined to make it to her destination, she sought out other alternatives. So I decided to book through United instead and thankfully was able to find a flight the exact same day and so now I'm back home here in Tulsa and I'm just really grateful. Piles of luggage adding to the ordeal. Matt Fields was traveling from Philly to Norman. He and his family managed to arrive close enough to their destination, but their baggage did not. They didn't get our bags switched over, so we have no bags. A Southwest manager I talked to did not want to go on camera, but he says they will assume the cost to have the passenger's luggage delivered to their desired location. He says passengers can expect long lines and long wait times trying to get through the phones. He apologized for the inconvenience and says impacted travelers will be receiving refund vouchers. In studio, Janae Quesada, Tunis, Oklahoma.